Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that great introduction. At the White House, as we always like to say, we love MSNBC. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill going up my leg. I mean, well, I don't have that too often. Steady. No, seriously. It's a dramatic event. He speaks about America in a way that has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with the feeling we have about our country. And, I, and, and that is an objective assessment. Well, you know what? Uh, I want to do everything I can to make this thing work, this new presidency work. And I think that is the that successful your job? model You just is, talked about yeah, that's my job. You so your job, job is to help this country to make this presidency work. Uh, to make this work successfully, because this country needs a successful presidency more than anything right now. And it's 4,000 Americans to their deaths for nothing. It is not, Mr. Bush, about your golf game. And, sir, if you have any hopes that next January 20th will not be celebrated as a day of soul-wrenching, heartfelt thanksgiving because your faithless stewardship of this presidency will have finally come to a merciful end, this last piece of advice... When somebody asks you, sir, about Democrats who must now pull this country back from the abyss you have placed us at, when somebody asks you, sir, about the cooked books and faked threats you foisted on a sincere and frightened nation, when somebody asks you, sir, about your gallant, noble, self-abnegating sacrifice of your golf game so as to soothe the families of the war dead, this advice, Mr. Bush, shut the hell up. Good night and good luck. Let's, let's be very honest about what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about bashing Democrats. It's not about yeah. taxes. They have no yeah. idea what the Boston Tea Party was about. That's right. They don't know their history at all. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea-banging rednecks. And, they, and, they, and there is no way around that. And, you know, you can tell these type of right-wingers anything and they'll believe it mm -hmm. except the truth. You That's tell them crazy. the truth and they become, it's like showing Frankenstein's monster fire. They become confused and angry and, and highly volatile. Mm -hmm. That guy caused in them right. feelings they don't know because their limbic brain, we've discussed this mm -hmm. before, the limbic brain inside a right winger or Republican or conservative or, or your average white power activist, the limbic brain is much larger in, in their, in their headspace than in a reasonable person and it's pushing against the frontal lobe. So their synapses are misfiring.